Hey there, Tracy Seismograph channel fans. Welcome to today's video where we're going to dive into the fascinating world of seismographs and learn how they help us understand the mysterious movements beneath our feet. Before we go any further, let's understand what a seismograph is. It's a scientific instrument that measures the tiny vibrations, or seismic waves, that travel through the earth when there's an earthquake. A seismograph has three main parts, the bass, the pendulum, and the recording drum. The bass is anchored to the ground, the pendulum hangs above it, and the recording drum is attached to the pendulum. This is a horizontal seismograph and it records back and forth motion. When an earthquake occurs, seismic waves are generated and travel through the earth. This drum-style vertical seismograph station records up and down movement and is designed so that slight earth vibrations move the instrument. The suspended mass remains at rest as the spring absorbs some of the motion. The pen affixed to the mass records the relative motion between itself and the rest of the instrument, thus recording the ground motion. This happens on a microscopic scale in the earth. The recording drum rotates as the pendulum moves. This rotation is like a timekeeper, capturing the duration of the earthquake. Seismologists analyze these seismograms to understand the earthquake's magnitude and location. The larger the squiggles, the stronger the seismic waves were at that moment. Seismic waves come in two main types, primary waves or P waves and secondary waves or S waves. P waves are faster and arrive first, while S waves are slower and follow. The time gap between them helps determine the earthquake's distance. P waves are the primary body wave, the first seismic wave detected by seismographs, able to move through both liquid and solid rock. P waves are compressional waves and shake back and forth, these are the fastest waves and the first waves to arrive from an earthquake. The S waves are secondary body waves that oscillate the ground perpendicular to the direction of wave travel. They travel about 1.7 times slower than P waves. Because liquids will not sustain shear stresses, S waves will not travel through liquids like water, molten rock, or the Earth's outer core. S waves produce vertical and horizontal motion in the ground surface. Because S waves travel much slower than P waves, and are the second waves to arrive from an earthquake. Seismographs have evolved over time, becoming more accurate and capable. Today we have digital seismographs that can transmit data in real time, helping us respond quickly to potential disasters. We use a Raspberry Shake RS1D here at the home of the Tracy Seismograph, and we support the citizen science use of our data. Plus we help provide education about earthquakes and seismology to people just like you. And there you have it. Seismographs play a crucial role in understanding earthquakes and keeping us safe. These instruments teach us about the powerful forces that shape our planet's surface. If you enjoyed learning about seismographs, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting earthquake-related content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.